What if I told you that faster, smarter cloud solutions hinge on a concept that sounds like tech magic binary translation? Sounds cryptic, right? Don't worry. By the end of this video, not only will you know exactly what binary translation is, but you'll see how it can revolutionize your cloud strategy. Here's a challenge for you. When you think about cloud computing, what comes to mind? Is it cost savings, scalability, or maybe just a big question mark? Drop your thoughts in the comments because today, we're about to decode one of the cloud's best kept secrets, binary translation. Picture this, you've invested heavily in cloud infrastructure. The promise was speed, scalability, and cost efficiency, but instead you're seeing slow performance, higher bills, and frustration across your teams. Why? Because your applications and your cloud environment don't speak the same language. And when that happens, it's like trying to play a symphony with half the instruments missing. But here's where binary translation comes in. It's like a universal translator for your apps, helping them run efficiently on modern virtualized cloud environments. Without it, your systems are lost in translation. Ever tried navigating a foreign city without knowing the language? That's your cloud environment without binary translation. Quick poll, how many of your organization's apps are truly cloud ready? Type ready if you're confident or legacy if you're still navigating the transition. Drop it in the comments. Now let's break it down. Binary translation works at a very low level, intercepting and translating instructions between your app and the virtual machine it's running on. Why does this matter? Because legacy apps often rely on direct hardware instructions that virtualized environments can't handle natively. That's where the translator steps in, making sure your app gets what it needs to run smoothly. Take VMware. They've pioneered something called paravirtualization. That's a fancy way of saying they tweak the guest operating system to work more efficiently with virtualized hardware. But, and this is important, not all apps can be modified. In those cases, binary translation saves the day, acting as the middleman and making sure everything flows seamlessly. Here's a quick question. Would you rather spend months rewriting legacy applications for the cloud or use binary translation to get them running smoothly today? If you're like most leaders, the answer is obvious. Binary translation gives you the immediate flexibility to keep your systems operational while you work on your long-term cloud migration strategy. Still with me? Great, let's dig a little deeper. Have you ever heard of the hypervisor? It's the layer that makes virtualization possible. When your application tries to run a privileged instruction, like accessing hardware directly, the hypervisor steps in and says, hold on. That's not allowed. Binary translation rewrites that instruction on the fly, translating it into something the virtualized system can execute safely. Think about this. How many times have you heard the term hypervisor thrown around without anyone explaining what it actually does? If this is the first time it's clicked for you, hit that like button. Here's why this matters for your business. Let's say you're running older ERP systems or custom apps that weren't designed for the cloud. Rewriting them isn't just costly, it's risky. Binary translation lets you keep those apps running while still enjoying the benefits of virtualization. It's not just a technical solution, it's a strategic one. I've seen organizations save millions by optimizing workloads using techniques like binary translation. One public sector client I worked with struggled with lagging performance on legacy systems. By implementing binary translation in their VMware environment, they saw a 30% boost in efficiency without a single line of code rewritten. But it's not just about performance. It's about reducing overhead. When binary translation optimizes resource utilization, it frees up your cloud capacity, which translates directly to lower bills. And who doesn't want that? Here's a fun fact for the tech enthusiasts. Binary translation isn't new. It's been around since the early days of x86 virtualization. It's what made early VMware products so revolutionary, allowing virtual machines to run on hardware that wasn't initially designed for it. This technique intercepts and rewrites every non-virtualizable instruction in real time. Think about the speed and precision that requires. It's like translating a book while it's being written. So what's the takeaway here? Binary translation isn't just a technical concept. It's a bridge. It connects your legacy systems to modern cloud infrastructure giving you the performance, scalability, and cost savings you've been promised. Without it, you're leaving efficiency and money on the table. 
Now it's your turn. Take a look at your current cloud workloads. Are they running as efficiently as they could? If not, binary translation might be the unsung hero you need. Let me know in the comments, what's the biggest challenge your organization faces with legacy applications? Your insights could inspire our next video. Found this valuable? Watch our playlists for more practical, executive-level insights on cloud architecture and digital transformation, and leading your business into the next era of growth. Simplify the cloud, amplify the impact.